and the Interfaith Council has registered its dissatisfaction with the political class, terming them as super spreaders of the deadly virus. Archbishop Anthony Muheria, who heads the Nyeri Catholic Diocese, asking politicians to demonstrate their love for the country by heeding his calls. This comes at a time when the Ministry of Health received 12 ultra-cold storage freezers from the government of Japan. As part of its effort in the preparation of, uh, for the arrival of the Pfizer vaccine donated by the U.S. government. Raquel Moigai reports. It is such crowds of Kenyans encircling politicians that have filled the roads of major towns in the country over the last few weeks. One common characteristic in all these gatherings being no COVID-19 protocols were adhered to. Just a week ago, Cabinet Health Secretary Mutai Kagwe had expressed his frustration over politicians' behavior. This time, it is the Interfaith Council pointing the same accusing finger. And we are now pleading as Interfaith, as religious leaders, because we believe this country is religious, that it is possible to carry on campaigns or popularization through other means other than putting our people at risk. We are calling to your conscience and your heart that you please plead, you please take up the life of our people seriously. According to Archbishop Moheria, it is not only the politicians who are to take the blame, as the clergy as well as Kenyans themselves also have a responsibility in safeguarding the lives of other Kenyans. As you would not enter Matatu without bricks, please don't enter Matatu that is overcrowded. The concern by the clergy coming on a day 704 people were recorded to have tested positive for COVID-19 in just 24 hours from a sample size of 6,776. The positivity rate standing at 10.4%. 1,815 persons have been admitted across various hospitals with 147 among them being in intensive care units. Early on Tuesday, the Ministry of Health received 12 ultra-cold storage freezers with the capacity to store 3 million doses from the government of Japan. Three of these freezers will be placed at the central vaccine stores in Kitengela, while the rest will be distributed to our nine regional stores in Nairobi, Eldoret, Kisumu, Mombasa, Nakuru, Nyeri, Meru and Kakamega. And there is also the issue of the regional store in Garissa. And I'm glad to note that UNICEF is supporting the delivery of a specialized deep freezer suitable for Garissa. The Pfizer vaccine requires a storage of negative 70 degrees Celsius. Therefore, once thawed or defrosted, it will have to be used within 28 days, a fact that will only see specific centers stocked up with the vaccine. Facilities that can vaccinate 100 people consistently per day. We will not put Pfizer in facilities that don't have a high volume. So that basically means 2,000 or 3,000 people have to be vaccinated within a month in facilities that stock Pfizer. At the moment, the Ministry of Health is in the process of identifying vaccination centers that will be equipped with Pfizer vaccines before the arrival of the first batch next week. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.